Hello, hello, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon, welcome. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yes, we can. Good. All right, well, welcome to another English class. Okay, let's get started. This is principiante number two. And here we go. Okay, in the previous class, we started a little bit about simple present. Estudiamos un poco del presente simple y también repasamos un poco en las jobs occupation. Así que ahora vamos a recordar un poco las jobs occupation. Okay, for example, uh, what is his profession? Yeah, his profession. A doctor? Doctor. A doctor. A nurse. A nurse. She is a nurse. A uh, fireman. Fireman. A uh, chef. A chef. A chef. A musician. A musician. 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 Very good. Musician. A uh, teacher. A teacher. She's a teacher. Uh, no. Hairdresser. Hair Hairdresser, very good. Hairdresser. Mechanic. Uh, mechanic. 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 Police officer. Police officer. And eventually, journalist. Journalist. Very good. Okay, I'm going to start taking the attendance. We're going to take the assistance of this day. Today is Monday, eh, 12. Okay. Alicia Beatriz Garcia Rosa. Present. Brandon Antonio. Brandon Antonio. Eh, Carlos Daniel. Carlos Daniel Meléndez Flores Meléndez Flores Martínez Romero Martínez Romero eh, Rivera Rivera Fátima Roxana Martínez Ancheta, Herrera Flores, Herrera Flores, Flores Martínez, Flores Martínez, Polanco Gutiérrez, I'm here, thank you, uh, Serna Ruiz, present. Aquino Espinosa. Aquino Espinosa. Escobar Mejía. Present. Martínez Uribe. Present. En Menjibar Sánchez. Menjibar Sánchez. Ok. Well, vamos a hacer una serie de prácticas con respecto al a los jobs en occupation. Les voy a compartir este link. Ok. Aquí vamos a practicar un poco las jobs occupation. ¿Ya lo copiaron? Hello. Is it ready? Yes. ¿Lo pueden abrir? 
Okay, yes. Three. Okay, let's practice the, uh, the exercise related with jobs and occupation. Jobs and occupation. Miss Alicia, can you get into the group? Doug. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Quiero ver, yo lo estaba haciendo, pero te tocar los pares, pero no me parecen pares. Ay, qué raro. Es como un fuego, me imagino yo. Sí, pero todas las que ahora me parecen. <risa> Ajá, sí, lo completamente. Ah, ah te lo quiero este. Por ejemplo, ahí está el que está construyendo. La imagen con el nombre. Tienes que acordar de que estás donde abriste. No. Está ahí. Está lo Está ahí. Ni uno ha estado. No, no, no. 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 No, Ahí está Nurs, aquí ya sé dónde está, está aquí, puñetera, aquí está, ahí está en este cuadro. Ah, ahí está el cuadro. Ya llegué dos, vamos a ver, doctor, creo que estaba aquí. Sí, no. Ah, no me sale. La ayer estaba aquí a la par. No, pero será, puede ser, ah, no. Sí, ya llegué dos, la ayer. Ah, pero tenés que estar la base de abrir, office, office, no Ah, aquí en la primera está como que está construyendo, como el albañil, y aquí está Builder. ¿Dónde está? Oh, ahí tres. En la primera y en la última de la esquina, de la de arriba. Ah, ahí está, ¿Sí? ahí está, ahí está la primera, <ríe> la de Dancer. La dentista está, tenés que acordarte donde abriste una. Uh -huh. La de Dancer está, vamos a ver, en la antepenúltima de abajo y en la cuarta de arriba. Aquí está, en la parte está en Dentis, de cuatro. Ah, no sé dónde aparece. Pero... Ah, vamos a ver, aquí abajo dice... Dancer. Chef. Está bueno. Póngale ahí para todo. Doctor. Ah, ya está en esta doctor y está el otro doctor. Ah, ya sé. No. ¿Dónde está el journalist? Ah, no, es reportera, está puñetera. <risa> Ay, chiste, ya sé. ¿Cuántas ya haces ya? No, dijo el uno acertado. <risa> 
Spider-Man. Lawyer, por aquí. Roma. Okay, how was the exercise? ¿Quién tuvo, quién lo completó? Nobody. Solo siete. ¿Cuántos? Solo cinco. Cinco, five. Yo lo completé. Todo. Todos. Ah. Sí. Excelente. Okay. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Very good. Lo que pasa es que son diferentes modos de juego. Ok, vamos acá. What does he do? He's a doctor. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. She's a teacher. She's a teacher. No, uh... She is a pilot. She is a pilot. Very good. Yeah. He is a manager. He's a manager. She is a manager. She is an engineer. She an engineer. And an engineer. She's a student. She's a student. Graphic designer. A graphic designer. Graphic designer. She is a graphic designer. Uh, they are actress. actresses. Actress. Actress. Actresses. 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 Uh, they are police officers. Police officers. They are chef. They are chef. They are chef. They are. They are bet. bets. They are, are bet. 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 Bets. Bet. Good, excellent. Let's continue. Bueno, vamos a utilizar ahora el manual. Use the manual. Ok, vamos a ir 
a la siguiente página. Como pueden ver, al lado izquierdo tenemos bastantes profesiones. Tenemos cashier, we got chef, flight attendant, judge, musician, nurse, police officer, salesperson, security guard, security, I'm, I'm sorry, stinger. Y acá en, en la parte superior tenemos eh, opiniones, ¿ok? De lo que piensa. Exciting, boring, easy, difficult, difficult. Eh, safe, dangerous, relaxing, and stressful. 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 Una vez más. Exciting, exciting boring, exciting, boring, easy, easy. easy. Difficult, difficult, safe, 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 dangerous, dangerous, dangerous relaxing, relaxing, stressful, stressful. Okay, ¿qué significa exciting? Excitante, algo así, como emocionante, 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 emocionante o en el caso de las personas, emocionado. I'm okay. so Boring. Aburrido. Aburrido. Easy. Fácil. Difficult. 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 Safe. Seguro. Seguro. Dangerous. Peligroso. 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 Relaxing. Relajante. Relajado. Stressful. Relajante. Estresante. Very good. Bueno. Ahora digan ustedes. ¿Usamos algunos de estos objetivos? ¿Cómo sería ser cashier? Cashier. Uh, Easy. A little bit stressful. And stressful. Okay. And boring sometimes. I guess. Boring, right? Chef. Okay. <laughs> Chef. Um, dangerous sometimes. Dangerous. <laughs> Chef, okay. Yes. Maybe you can get some... Uh, Sunborn. Sunborn. Yes, yes. Flight And attendants. Mm, that is dangerous too because they are flying. Yeah, it can be dangerous sometimes. All right. Uh, judge. Judge. Uh, that is difficult, That's I guess. And that is difficult, right? A musician. Ah, uh, that is, well, uh, depend. it depends. It depends on the person. Can be, for me, can be sometimes stressful, sometimes. Ah, yes, yes. yes. If you're famous, right? Yes. It can be yes. exciting if you are in a big audience. Exciting. Uh, okay, Norse. Uh, um, that is very uh, difficult. Difficult. Yeah, difficult. And also dangerous sometimes. You can ah, yes, get sick. Yes. <laughs> That is very common. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, police officer. That's dangerous. 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 Okay. See, um, salesperson. 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 Sometimes stressful, stressful, stressful. Uh, security war, <laughs> boring, boring, finger. Um, sometimes exciting, sometimes stressful and difficult, I guess. <laughs> okay, good, very good. Okay, now, guys, we have this conversation and it says hey stephanie i i hear you have new jobs I, i hear you have a new job yes i'm teaching math at lincoln high school do you like it it's great the students are ter terrific how are how are things with you no bad i'm firefighter now you know that's exciting yes but it's a very stressful job and sometimes It's dangerous. One more time. Hey, Stephanie, I heard, I hear, I'm sorry, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like, how do you like it? It's great. It's 
the students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad, I'm firefighter. You know, that's exciting. Yes, but it's very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, acá en este contexto, terrific no es algo malo. Okay, sino que es algo como genial. Terrific. Terrific. Okay, no se vayan a confundir con, con un adjetivo malo. Okay, es un contexto bueno, como terrific. Terrific. Okay. Eh, one more time. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How, how do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter. Now you know. That's exciting. Yes, but, it, but it's a very stressful job. Sometimes it's dangerous. Okay. Let's practice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was. Okay, now that you practice, people, we're going to listen the conversation in the platform. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. 
I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled "He Works oh, in a Hotel." Um, he's already break. Let's Sorry. Hold on, please. Give me a second. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn be plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe s, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is. is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case a. Then we have profession plus apostrophe s, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be, is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, a or an, plus profession, plus has, plus article, a or an, plus adjective, plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, a. Then we will have the profession firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article a. Then we will add the adjective. And finally, we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now, I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. 
After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, well, now that you're ready to study the, well, you watch the conversation, you practice the conversation, it's time for you to read it. And it says, hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? No bad. I'm fire firefighter now. You know, that's exciting. Yes, but it's very stressful and sometimes it's dangerous. Vamos a pedirle a Mr. José Ramón y Mr. Kevin, Kevin Ruiz que nos pueden hacer la lectura. Please. Okay. Hey, Stefan. I hear you, you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? No, bad. I'm on fire of fire now. You know. That is exciting. Yes, but it's very stressful, Joe. And sometimes it's dangerous. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Good. Let's see Mr. Maximiliano and Mr. Roberto, please. OK. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am. Teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Very good. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, now we have here. Uh, listen, what do they? Okay. Tenemos estas conversaciones. Okay. Bueno, estas frases donde dice a musician job is interesting. Y la otra opción que puede decir es, a musician has an interesting job. An athlete job is exciting. A lawyer job is stressful. Uh, a security war has a boring job. A photographer has a difficult job. A police officer has a, a dangerous job. Entonces, ustedes lo que tienen que hacer es utilizar un adjetivo diferente y si es posible cambiar la estructura. No sé si estamos claros en este ejercicio. Aquí hay un ejemplo. Por ejemplo, a musician's job is interesting. La otra forma puede ser a musician, a musician has an interesting job. Yeah. Ok. Le voy a dar un par de segundos para que puedan meditar. Y después eh, tratamos de resolver. Okay, who wants to give it a try? Can you intent that? Who wants to give it a try? Me. Okay. Go ahead. Number two, an athlete okay. job is exciting. One more time, please. Perform, Una vez más. An, at, an athlete's job is exciting. Mm -hmm. The other form could be an athlete has an exciting job. Excellent. Very good. Excellent, mister. Okay, a lawyer's job is stressful. Who wants to give it a try? Um, 
And number three, a lawyer's job is stressful. And another form is a lawyer has a stressful job. Excellent. Very good. Number three, I'm sorry, four, a security guard has a boring job. A security war has a boring job. Who wants to give it a try? Anybody? Me again. Okay, thank you. A security guard job is boring. All right. Okay. A photographer has a difficult job. A photographer has a difficult job. How would it be then another form? The photographer job is Boring is difficult. It's difficult. Okay, six. Six. Number six. A police officer has a dangerous job. Number six. Uh, a police a police officer's job is a dangerous. Okay. Thank you, Mister. Okay, good. Okay, vamos a hacer la siguiente actividad. Se llama Workday Routine. Workday Routine. Okay, vamos a preguntarle a nuestro compañero eh, acerca de su trabajo. Por ejemplo, do you have a job? Where do you work? What do you do exactly? Is your job interesting? What time do you start work? When do you finish work? Do you like your job? Etc. etc. Ok, y el, el trabajo de un familiar suyo, por ejemplo, puede ser el trabajo de su hermano. Where does he work? What does he do exactly? Is, he, is his job difficult? What time does he start work? El propósito es que en la primera columna, con estas preguntas, utilice el, el pronombre yo, ¿verdad? I work. Y en el segundo, utilice el pronombre de él o ella, para utilizar los verbos en tercera persona. Vamos a hacer las preguntas. Ok. Here we go.
Ajá. Va, va, Josh Blanco. <laughs> Tell me. Te voy a preguntar. I, I want to ask you about a classmate, a friend, or a family member. Tell me about your brother. Where does he work? Um, he work uh, as a typing too. A typing? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, he is um, uh, a self auxiliar, I guess. A self, ah. like a better. better. Okay. I guess. Oh, like a salesman. Ah, yes, yes. South, South auxiliar or auxiliar South. I, I don't know how to say. Okay. No, auxiliar South. Okay. Auxiliar yes. South. Uh huh. Okay. What does he do exactly? Mm, I guess he he buy the all product that the company or the factory. I don't know. It, uh, the factory is an a restaurant. It's a restaurant. Okay. Uh, so he buys, uh, for example, foods, uh, some vegetables, and all the groceries. Not all, all the groceries. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> see? <laughs> Something like this. Like that, I guess. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, is his job difficult? Uh, he tells me that it's a, sometimes a very difficult and sometimes very stressful. Okay. What time does he start to work? Uh, he starts to work at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. When does he finish work? Uh, he finished World at four o'clock, I guess. Does he like his job? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Sometimes yes, and sometimes no. I guess <laughs> that's a difficult question. I think. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, yes, sometimes no. <laughs> or more or less, I guess. More, more or less. More what or less. What does he do after work? Uh, uh, I guess uh, he sleeps too. <laughs> because he, he comes, oh, he comes back to work, to home, I guess. He go back to home uh, very tired, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's, and that's right, good. Uh, right now, I'm going to ask you. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, tell me. Do you have a job? Yes. Uh, where do you work? I work at El Salvador Sex. Oh, what do you do exactly? I'm a production supervisor. Production supervisor, okay. Uh, is your job interesting? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> what time do you start work? I start work uh, one week at seven o'clock and one week at six o'clock, 6 uh -huh. p.m., 6 p.m. Yes. Okay. And where do you finish work? Well, um, 
some and uh, one week at 6 p.m. and one week at 7 a.m. Okay. Uh, do you learn your job? Sometimes I think <laughs> that's a question. It's very complex. <laughs> yes, because sometimes and this job is very stressful and it does not so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you do after work? Well, uh, I like to read some comics, some manga, and then mm -hmm. I go to sleep. Uh, I like to watch uh, NBA games too, and, uh, football, really? and football soccer games too. Um, okay, very good. I guess that is all. Alicia, do you want to ask me too? Yeah, uh, Alicia, where are you? She's not there anymore. Uh, I think she has a lot of uh, internet difficult. Ah, yes, yes. But, and when we talk about uh, time time in the world, I guess we have a a rotative schedule we can say it too. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes we start to work at seven o'clock and sometimes at six at six yes, a.m. and at six p.m. o'clock, I guess. We work sometimes we work at night and sometimes we work at day. That's uh something very difficult because your body doesn't adapt to that change over yeah. a week and the next week is it's, it's, it's all yes. Yes, yes, sir. time to work. And sometimes we we don't want to work <laughs> because we are very we are, we are very tired. No? That's that's difficult. That's difficult. difficult. But uh, come on here. Yeah. He uh -huh. has he has um good time too. He has good uh -huh. time too. Yes. For example, uh, they, they when... <laughs> you you with me. I I I will say the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, now uh, we can combat or I said, oh, I think Kevin is back. Ah, Kevin, Kevin, where are you? I not here. No, este no ya salió esta cosa. Sí. Repeat the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a job? Yes. 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 do you Yes. 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 But my oh, yeah. my mi... mi prioridad, my, my priority is change style. Okay. Uh, is your job interesting? Uh, Sometimes, but uh, it's boring. <laughs> what time do you start to work? I start to work uh, when I work in the day. Yes. Seven at seven p a.m. I finish okay. six p.m. Okay. To answer the next question too. Do you like your job? I... <laughs> it's complicated, I know. I know. Uh, 
Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do after work? Uh, I go to sleep to the bus. Uh, <laughs> <risa> ah, después de que terminamos de trabajar ¿qué yes. hago? no bueno, creo que nos vamos pa. I go home hey, after hey. I I go to sleep All right, well, after you practice the questions that the book suggests, we're going to have the next conversation between the different, uh, the different job profiles. The different job profiles. Let, just give me a second. I need to share with you my screen. Hold on, please. Jobs profile. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop prediction and inferencing skills 
after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading Job Profiles Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Okay. Uh, well, here we have this reading. Okay, the jobs profile. Vamos a pedirle a Mr. Eh, Maximiliano, si nos puede dar a leer Lisa, Lisa Parker, please. Okay. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she really is, but she's really a, an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she, she, she's tired a lot. But she is following her dreams. Her dreams. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see. Video game taster. How about Mr. Kevin, please? Video game taster. A uh, lot of teenagers want John's blue job. He plays video game for eight hours and a day. And he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. It's ever boring. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Good. Okay. Boring. Uh, let me see. Dog Walker. Mr. Jose Ramon, please. Okay. Uh, Becky Pitt. Walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes it takes uh, 20 dogs to the park at uh, one time. One time, very good. Carlos Ruiz, uh, Mr. Roberto, please. Okay. He's a bus man. He plans less he plans lessons. Grace homework. Helps why after school activities. And of course he teacher his salary inside great. But that Okay, he's a student like his class, so he's happy. Okay, uh, this uh, pronunciation, busy. He's a busy man. Uh, he's a busy man. Busy man, okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, vamos a ir a la siguiente unidad. What it is, it's here. Broccoli. Is good for you. And it says, uh, it says, a uh, food pyramid for good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, 
meat and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Meat and other protein. Dairy. Uh, fruit. We have banana, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes. Meat and other protein. Eggs, beef, nuts, chicken, mean, beans, and fish. Vegetable. We have broccoli, carrot, lettuce, tomatoes, and potato. Grains. All right. We have bread, cereals, crackers, rice, noodles, and pasta. Ok, vamos a expresar eh, lo que gusta y no le gusta. Por ejemplo, para decir me gusta, vamos a decir I like. I like, for example, I like lettuce, I like broccoli, bananas, apples, beef, chicken, milk, yogurt, cream. Ok, but I don't like, I don't like, let me see, ah, noodles, I don't like it. I don't like... Um, potato chips and butter. Okay, how about Mr. Maximiliano? Things that you like. I like apples, strawberries, mangoes, orange, lettuce, broccoli, potatoes, beef, chicken, uh, fish, eggs, okay. but I don't like um, too much uh, milk, cheese, carrots, and, and um, cream. Uh, I really don't like cream. Cream, you don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, Mr. Kevin, what are the things that you like and you don't like? I like all is there. Well, what is there? <laughs> All is there. Oh. What don't you like? You like everything. Uh, I like everything. Uh, I like cream. I like butter. I like uh, aceite. Uh, <laughs> candy. Potato chip. What don't fish, you like? Hey, what don't you like? I don't like. Uh -huh. uh, you like everything. Yes. Okay, good. Muy bien, Mr. Roberto Antonio. Hi. What you like and you don't like? Mm, I like candy. Okay. Beef. Chicken. Beef. 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 Chicken. Fish. Uh, orange. Oranges. Okay. Orange. And what don't you like? Um, milk. Oh, you don't and, like milk. Um, broccoli. All right. Good, Mr. Jose Ramon. Um, I like uh, everything of all of that pyramid. I guess I like everything. So, but uh, noodles, some pasta. Uh, I don't like so much. But yes, that's all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Stop. Stop. Okay, how about, how about the typical dishes? ¿Hay algún eh, plato típico que no les guste? ¿Es algo típico dish? Mm -hmm. I don't like... Chilate. You don't I like don't chilate. Like, I don't like chilate. All right. Anybody uh, else? Um, La merienda. Okay. 
Uh, some kind of pocky, pumpkins, I guess, with some sweets. O ayote dulce, creo yo. <laughs> I don't like it. You don't like it. Okay. I don't like it. Okay, let's listen the video. Vamos a escuchar el video. Here you have. Can you see it? Yes. Good. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Meat and other protein. Fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef. Dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, Tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and coworkers, and think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes. After you complete this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, uh, here we have this conversation. This conversation. Okay, let's practice a little bit more. Um, in a second. Give me a second, please. Ok, vamos a practicar el siguiente ejercicio para poder reforzar la parte del vocabulario de food. Déjenme saber si lo pueden abrir, por favor. Ok. 
here we go. En la segunda, pizza y banana, dice. Ya, ¿Por cuál bajo no has hecho todavía? Bien. ¿Por cuál bajo? ¿Por cuál vas? You finish. Hello? No, yeah. oh, no. Okay. También ir solucionando quizás la, el de Moji va. Hola.
Siete de diez me puso. Ya lo terminaste. porque no ahora tendré que hacer este o, o, no es que no hemos entendido porque supuestamente hay que seleccionar también lo que dice y solo lo habíamos seleccionado las caritas <risa> las caritas y ahorita estamos en otra ahorita no ¿Cuál sería la traducción de biscuit al español? ¿Perdón? Biscuit, ¿cómo se traduciría al español? Es como un bocadillo, como un pancito. Ah, ok. Cuando dice meat and potato, esa sería la carne, ¿no? Es meat. la carne y las papas. Las papas, ¿no? Ajá. Porque están meat y meal. Ajá. Vamos a ver hoy. Check my answer. Obviamente, 10 de 10. Sí, eso es. Sí, para seleccionar la que decía y la cara de Iguaca, la de me gusta. Okay. Finish, teacher. How was your grade? Yes. Yes, the yuk. Yeah. Ten of ten. Okay, here we have the exercise. Do you like spaghetti and cheese? What is yes, the correct? I do. What is the correct form? Do you like spaghetti and cheese? Yes. I spaghetti and queso. And the face, no, no face, right? Do you like strawberry yogurt? Mm, yes, I do. Yummy. What it is? Do you like strawberry yogurt? Mm, yogurt? Yes, I do. Yummy. 
Yogur y, el yogur y, y fresa. Y la cara de... Do you like chocolate biscuits? Yes, I do. Do you like chocolate biscuits? Yes, I do. Uh, the first image and the third. Excellent. Do you like? I don't. Do you like tomato cake? I do you like maize, tomato, tomato cake. cake? No, I no. don't. Do you like banana pizza? No, I don't. Yucky. Banana and pizza. No. Do you like broccoli ice cream? No, broccoli. I don't. Broccoli. Nice no. Do you like bread no, and honey? Yes, I do. Bread and honey. <laughs> do you like chicken with chocolate? No, I chicken don't. Chicken with chocolate. Chicken with chocolate. Do you like fish ice cream? No, I don't. <laughs> fish ice cream. No. I don't think that's a good combination. <laughs> like meat and potatoes. Yes, I do. Okay. Meat and potatoes. Meat and potatoes. Meat and potatoes. Yes, I do. Yes. Okay, let's I see. Think in the number 10, it's... Eight of... Ah, what happened here? We, we let... Faltaron dos abajo. La nueva uh -huh, yes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, at least we recognize the vocabulary. Very good. <laughs> okay, well, now we have another conversation, people. Okay, from the website. Okay, we have count and non-count nouns conversation. Cosas que se pueden contar. Y no. Contables y contables. Now, ¿qué es importante? In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade, Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, 
Let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, right there we have the conversation and also the vocabulary. Okay, Tess, what do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. But... Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. But, let me see where it is. Oh, Jesus. Want to, uh, what do you want for the picnic? How about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drink? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Okay, what can you see inside of the refrigerator? Chicken. Chicken, all right, and, and some potatoes, right? All right, potatoes. all right. I'm gonna be Amanda, and you are, and you will be Adam. Okay, you are Adam, and I am Amanda. Okay, let's start. Three, two, one. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Good, okay, now you are... Um, Amanda and I am Adam. What do you want okay. for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? 
Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade and let's uh, and let's and let's go eat some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Bye. Okay, se, se pronuncia bye. 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 Very good. Okay, ahora Mr. Kevin and Mr. Jose Ramon. Mr. Kevin será Adam and Mr. Jose Ramon será Aman. Okay. Three, two, one. Yeah. Action. Uh -huh. Yo soy Adam. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello. What is, what is Adam? You start. No, you are Adam. Yo, yo soy Adam. Yes. Vaya. Adam begins. Yes. <laughs> Amanda comienza, ¿no? No, Adam. Ay, Adam comienza. Yes. Pero, ¿qué no es la primera la pregunta? Pa? The store doesn't have any potatoes, ¿sabes? Vamos a comenzar acá. Dice Adam, what do you want? ¿Ah? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay, okay. okay. I, 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 I'm going to be Adams and you, Amanda. I'm going to start. What do you want for the picnic? Penny, uh, ¿dónde están ahorita, muchachos? Aquí, sir. En la página 59. Ahorita. No, el teacher no, no aparece el, en la pantalla. No si aparece. No, puede... no, 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 qué raro. Se ha quedado congelado. Sí, en la 59 es todo. Sí, ahora? ahora sí lo estoy viendo. Pero, sí, pero ah, ¿qué me... ¿Y ahora? Ahora sí se ve. Ah, sí. Qué raro que no aparecía. Ah, pero yo estaba en otro lado. Yo, yo pensé que ahí. no lo habías aprendido. Literalmente estabas en el otro lado. ¿sí? <risa> Vaya, sí, sí, sí. Démoslo. Yo soy Adam. Sí, sí que no sé. Vaya, what do you want for a picnic? Um, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Uh, everyone likes potato salad. No, we come. Good. Okay. Now, Mr. Maximiliano and Mr. Roberto. Mr. Maximiliano, he is Adam, and Mr. Roberto is Amanda. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwich sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Ah, uh, potato. <laughs> okay, ahora vamos a hacer una otra combinación. Vamos a ver a Mr. Kevin y a Mr. Maximiliano. Y después a Mr. José Ramón y Mr. Roberto. Okay. okay. Mr. Maximiliano and Mr. Kevin first. 
Eh, Begin. Va a ser Amanda. Va a ser Amanda, ok. Sí, porque What no do you want for the picnic? <laughs> um, how about some sandwiches? Ok, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Potato salad, very good. Mr. Jose Ramon and Mr. Roberto Antonio. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be Alan. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Okay. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potatoes. Potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Very good. Excellent. All right. Well, here we have fruit salad, cake, pie, cookies, ice cream. What is your favorite? In my case, I like, yeah, let me see, ice cream and pie. How about you? Uh, T-shirt. Hello? Uh, what is the difference uh, with cookies on cracker? Oh, it's the same. In cracker. Crackers and cookies. Is it the same or no? Cracker. Uh, how do you spell cracker? Cracker. Z R A C K E R, I guess. Uh, I think we, we see that in the, the pyramid. Yes. yes, 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 in the pyramid. Crackers. Uh, was in, in the grains. Ah, yes, in the grains. Yes, it ah, crackers. crackers. It is in like cookies. Um, but cookies okay, sometimes well, are sweet. Okay. Crackers, no. This one, no. Uh, okay. All right. Well, I like. Fruit salad, ice cream, and cookies. Okay, who likes who likes pie? I pie. Um, apple pie. Apple pie. Yes. Oh. A little bit. <laughs> okay, it says complete the conversation with some or any. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Um, let's see where it is. Okay, well, we have a lot of potato. Let's make some. Let's make a, a potato salad. No. Some. Let's make some. 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 Uh, some yes. Okay, do we have any? Any. Good, because it's a question. Uh, uh, no, we need to buy some. Uh, some. Some. We need some onions. Some onions. Some onions too. I don't I don't want any onion. Any onions. Any. I hate onion. Then let's get <laughs> they get some some celery. 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 So I don't want any celery. Any, any. Any celery. any celery in my potato salad, but let's put some apple. In it. Some apples in it. Apples in potato salad, that sounds awful. Um, I guess. Mm. I think I, I, I see that. <laughs> yes, I seem to, I guess. A potato salad. No, an apple salad. Okay. Let's be like Mr. Kevin and Mr. Maximiliano. Si nos pueden ayudar a leer. Kevin, he is Amanda. And Mr. Maximiliano, he is Adam. 
Okay. okay. The store, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have a lot of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. Buy some. We need, we need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Apple in potato salad. That sounds awful. Good, excellent. Do you know what awful is? Yes. Yes. Oh, exactly. Eh, desagradable, feo. Eh, okay. This. Let me see. Vamos a pedirle a Mr. José Ramón y a Mr. Roberto. Si no vas a meter. Okay. Okay. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Will we have a lot of pot potato? Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No. We need we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions in hay onions. Uh, then let's get some celery. No, I I don't. I don't want any any celery in my potato salad. But let but some apple in it. Uh, uh, apples in a potato salad? That sounds awful. Awful. Okay. Awful. Sounds awful. Very good. Awful. Awful. Ok, vamos a, ya para ir finalizando, vamos a hacer la práctica de estas preguntas. Dice, what do you need? Vamos a repetir, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Bien. ¿Qué significa esa pregunta? ¿Qué, ¿Qué necesitas? ¿Qué necesitas? ¿Qué necesitas? What do you need? Ok, I need some bread and some fish. I need some bread and some fish. Ok, make a list of food you need. Make a, make, make a list of food. Okay, do you need any fruit? Make a list of food. Yes, do you need any do you fruit? Need do you need fruit? any fruit? <laughs> yes, I want some bananas. Yes, I want some bananas. Yes, I want, yes, some, I bananas. want some bananas. Very good. Okay, vamos a tomar la asistencia de esta, de esta tarde. Que mañana tenemos la siguiente clase y la siguiente semana tenemos las últimas tres. Ok. Ok, here we go. Remember, tomorrow we have class and next week we have Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Ok. There we go. Eh, García Rosa. García Vela. Soy listo Bar. Listo, va. Meléndez Flores. Martínez Romero. Martínez Ancheta. Rivera Rivera. Herrera Flores. Flores Martínez. Polanco Gutiérrez. Ángel. Serna Ruiz. Aquino Espinosa Escobar Mejía Present. Martínez Uribe 
Present. And Givar Sanchez. Okay, well, let's stop right here with the class. Vamos a terminar acá en la clase. See you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Have a good one and see you later. Bye bye. See you later. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Hello. Hello. <laughs>